Welcome to 360 Boosts channel, where we delve into the intricacies of global politics and conflicts. This video aims to illuminate the unseen, unheard, and often misunderstood aspects of modern warfare. We will take you on a journey based on Andrew Bustamante's insights from the chessboard of world politics to the shadowy corners of government influence. We will explore the invisible threats that loom over our technologically dependent society and the unspoken heroes operating behind the scenes. As we navigate through these complex topics, we encourage you to keep an open mind, question the status quo, and engage in the discussion. If you enjoy our content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Let's start our journey with an invisible, silent threat that could change the world as we know it. Electromagnetic pulses, or EMPs. Stay tuned. In a world where technology reigns, imagine a force that could bring it all to a standstill. This force isn't a massive army or a powerful dictator, but rather an invisible, silent threat. Electromagnetic pulses, or EMPs. These aren't the stuff of science fiction, but real, tangible threats in modern warfare. EMPs have the power to disable vast areas of electronic infrastructure in an instant. Picture our bustling cities suddenly plunged into darkness. Our interconnected networks of communication silenced. Our sophisticated defenses rendered useless. The consequences of a large-scale EMP attack be nothing short of devastating. But why should we worry about EMPs? Because we live in an age of technological dependence. Societies, economies, and defense systems are intricately tied to our digital infrastructures. And while this technology has brought us countless benefits, it has made us more vulnerable than ever before. The invisible threat of EMPs is a stark reminder of our vulnerability in an age of technological dependence. What do you think about the threat of EMPs? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Global politics is a game of chess, with each nation plotting its moves in a complex dance of strategy and counter-strategy. It's about understanding the opponent's next move, anticipating it, and then making your own move to counter it. This intricate dance of strategy is what shapes international politics. Now let's take Andrew Bustamante's insights, for example. He suggests that these strategic maneuvers aren't just about military might or economic power. They're also about influence, alliances, and understanding the strengths and weaknesses of your opponents. They're about setting the stage, creating opportunities, and then seizing them when the time is right. It's a constant game of give and take, push and pull, attack and defend. And just like in chess, sometimes the smallest moves can have the biggest impacts. So, understanding the world's chessboard isn't just about understanding the pieces. It's about understanding the players, their strategies and their goals. Understanding the world's chessboard is a step towards understanding the future of international conflict. The CIA, a name synonymous with intrigue, secrecy and espionage. This clandestine organization, the Central Intelligence Agency, operates in the shadows, where the stakes are high and the margin for error is razor thin. It's a world of psychological warfare where the is the battlefield and information is the weapon of choice. Every move, every decision, is a calculated strategy, a piece in a much larger puzzle. Puzzle of international relations. The game is complex, the players many, and the rules constantly changing. Yet before we dive finding this content insightful, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Now back to, to the CIA. It's covert operations these hidden maneuvers shape the world we live in. From the Cold War era's cloak and dagger tactics to today's sophisticated cyber espionage, the CIA has evolved, adapting to the ever-changing landscape of global conflict. The CIA's covert operations play a crucial role in shaping often unseen but always influential. Have you ever wondered about the covert operations of the CIA? Let us know in the comments. Nuclear warfare, a term that strikes fear in the heart of humanity, but there's more to it than meets the eye. The common perception of nuclear warfare often stops at the explosion. A blinding flash, a mushroom cloud, and a city turn to rubble. Yet the tactics of nuclear warfare extend far beyond these initial moments of devastation. Consider altitude-based tactics. A nuclear detonation hundreds of kilometers above the Earth's surface may not cause direct physical destruction, but the resulting electromagnetic pulse can cripple electronic systems, causing widespread chaos and disruption. These less-known strategies underscore the complexity and sophistication of nuclear warfare. They remind us that the nuclear threat is not just about the immediate devastation caused by an explosion, but also about the long-term consequences that can unfold in its aftermath. 
The power of nuclear tactics extends far beyond the immediate devastation of an explosion, casting a long and ominous shadow. Welcome to the new front line of conflict, where battles are fought not on the ground, but in the digital realm. In this modern era, warfare has evolved beyond physical battles and territorial conquests. We are now in the age of cyber warfare, where invisible attacks are launched from behind screens and borders have been replaced by firewalls. The rise of cyber warfare has been swift and significant. It's a battlefield that transcends geographic boundaries, where nations can strike at the heart of their adversaries without even setting foot on their soil. These attacks are not merely about causing disruption, they're about gaining the upper hand, setting the stage for more physical assaults. From crippling national infrastructure to influencing elections, cyber attacks have become the critical first strike in modern conflicts. They're silent, they're stealthy, and they're reshaping the world we live in. Cyber warfare, a silent and stealthy assault, is redefining the rules of engagement in the 21st century. As we navigate this new era, it is crucial to stay safe online. Remember to update your antivirus software regularly. It's our most basic defense against these invisible battles. In times of crisis, a nation divided can become a nation united. External threats have a peculiar way of bringing together disparate factions. It's as if a singular, common enemy provides a rallying point, a shared objective that can weld together the most fragmented of societies. The potential for national solidarity in crisis is immense and historically proven. Consider the world wars, the Cold War, or even the recent pandemic. These crises serve to unite nations, strengthening their resolve and fostering a sense of shared identity. They reminded us that we are all in this together and our survival hinges on our collective will to overcome. If you're enjoying this deep dive into global politics, remember to subscribe to our channel. The power of unity is not just about weathering storms, but also about turning adversities into opportunities. It's about leveraging collective strengths to not only defend, but also to forge ahead. Remember, when faced with external threats, unity becomes a nation's greatest weapon. The power to protect can also be the power to manipulate. Governments possess significant influence that can be employed for protection or manipulation. This is a delicate act often walking a precarious line. Imagine a government confronted by an external threat. Their duty lies in bolstering national security, but it also provides a chance to mold public opinion, perhaps to further political goals. This isn't new, as authorities have have historically used the pretext of protection to justify controversial actions. From imposing tight security measures to curbing civil liberties, the narrative of external threat can be a formidable tool to consolidate power. But it's not a universal truth for all governments or situations. It's a potential hazard, a double-edged sword that can both safeguard and mislead. The responsibility of ensuring that power is exercised responsibly lies in the government and the vigilance of its citizens. Government influence, a double-edged sword, can both safeguard and mislead. Now what's your view on government influence? We're eager to hear your thoughts. When disaster strikes, the strength of a nation's infrastructure is put to the test. We turn our attention to two types of infrastructures, civilian and military. Both are intertwined, yet possess distinct resilience levels against threats like electromagnetic pulses, EMPs. Civilian infrastructure encompassing our homes, hospitals and power grids is often more susceptible due to its extensive nature and multitude of potential failure points. Military infrastructure, crafted anticipating conflict and disruption, is built to withstand such threats. But it's not immune. This leads us to a crucial realization, the urgency for complete preparedness. Fortifying military infrastructure is vital, but safeguarding civilian infrastructure is equally significant. Remember, a nation isn't only its armed forces, it embodies its citizens, their homes, and everyday life. A tale to infrastructures, both crucial in the face of unprecedented threats. As we stand on the precipice of potential global conflict, we must contemplate the unthinkable, World War III. In our modern, interconnected world, the concept of war has evolved beyond traditional battlefields. It has crept into the digital arena, where a single keystroke can potentially disrupt international economies and infrastructures. A new battlefield encompassing the entire globe, expanding far beyond the confines of physical of physical borders. This all-inclusive arena will rope in not only nations but also non-state actors, multinational corporations and individuals wielding significant influence. 
our conventional understanding of weaponry will be challenged as conflicts could chiefly rely upon disinformation, cyber attacks and economic subversion. The scales of power will constantly shift, influenced by technological advancement, economic and narrative control. The human toll of such a war would be catastrophic beyond estimation. This grim possibility invites us to think deeply about our collective future and the choices that we make today. That invites serious contemplation, which we will explore in our future. Subscribe to 360 Boost to be a part of these profound discussions. How do you envision World War III? Share your predictions in the comments. In the shadows of global conflict stand the guardians of national security, intelligence agencies. These organizations function in a world where information is king and secrecy is par for the course. Silent heroes, they labor behind the curtain to maintain national safety. Their realm is peppered with coded messages, undercover operations and covert actions, all the while walking the tightrope of ethical quandaries. Their trade is a complicated ballet of collecting, studying and sharing vital information, often in demanding situations. They grapple with diverse challenges, from technology's relentless advancement and its associated risks, to the complexity of global politics and the perpetual risk of data warfare. Despite these hurdles, their significance is undeniable. They are the silent guards, the unseen nocturnal watchers, the tactical minds preparing for scenarios beyond most people's comprehension. Intelligence agencies, the unseen guardians, are the first line of defense in a world fraught with invisible threats. In this intricate game of international politics, three major players stand out, the USA, China, and Russia. Each has distinct strategic goals, carving out their space on the global stage. The USA, a superpower, strives to maintain its global influence. China, the rising dragon, expands its economic and military might. Russia, the resilient bear, endeavors to regain global prominence. This high-stakes game often unfolds in regions like Ukraine, a focal point for geopolitical ambitions. Through alliances, the USA wields military and economic power, blending hard and soft influence. China employs economic expansion strategies, investing in infrastructure projects worldwide, exemplified by its Belt and Road Initiative. Russia, notorious for its tactics, uses military force and information warfare to breed discord and destabilize regions. This elaborate power play, often hidden, involves intelligence agencies influencing policy decisions. It extends beyond military or economic strength, involving information, influence, and strategic positioning. It's a high-stakes game, with the balance of global power and the future of nations in the balance. To stay aware of these significant shifts and understand the global power dynamics, it's important to stay informed about global politics. Make sure you follow reliable. From the lens of Ukraine, we see a microcosm of the global power play, once under the Soviet Union, Ukraine is now a theater of conflict between the West and Russia. The 2014 Euromaidan protests marked a significant turning point, igniting a full-blown clash. Russia's annexation of Crimea and the subsequent war in eastern Ukraine have a test of Ukraine's mettle and aspiration for sovereignty. This strife reveals the susceptibility of global partnerships and the constraints of military might. The West, led by the USA, sanctioned Russia, but the conflict continues. NATO aids yet shies away from direct military involvement. The EU provides financial aid mediates truces, yet the war carries on. Amid this, China exploits the situation to bolster its economic influence, investing in both Russia and Ukraine. It showcases China's inclination for economic supremacy over over military confrontation. Conversely, Russia leverages military force and information warfare to keep the West destabilized and reaffirm control over ex-Soviet territories. The Ukrainian situation underscores the complexities of the the world power play. It's a testament to the fact that in this high-stakes game, the battlefield is not just geographical, but also economic, informational and ideological. Join us as we delve further into the thrilling world. What's your prediction for the next groundbreaking development? Share your insights below. Remember to hit that subscribe button on 360 Boost's channel to take part in our polls. Make sure to like and subscribe to stay part of our ongoing discussion. What's your perspective on the future of the world and human beings? Let's dissect this together.